All right, looking good. Oh, get off here without killing myself. Awesome. All right, folks, hello, greetings, and welcome. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer. I am actually going to be opening uh, quite a few fun things today. Uh, from left to right, we have the new M1 MacBook Pro, the MacBook uh, Pro leather sleeve, the power adapter extension cable, the Magic Mouse, and the USB-C adapter. Um, all of these things were uh, thought through quite well uh, for my setup that I will be putting to use very shortly after this unboxing. So, here we go. Um, I have to position myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so, gonna start with the main event. Actually, we're gonna do the sidebars first and then the main event, so the MacBook Pro leather sleeve will be first. Uh, let's see what this thing looks like here. Uh, it's a nice bluey color. Uh, can I, hmm, do you just pull it out there? No, do you, uh, after I learn how to open the box, we will open the box. Oh my goodness. Hoot, 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 hoot. Her. Okay, I think this is how it's supposed to go, but I am not getting it out of here. Put to the side, to the side. My goodness, oh, ouch, ouch. That hurt the thumb. Anyway, uh, I immediately noticed that it's not the same color blue as uh, the advertised. It is uh, significantly darker, or maybe that's just the shininess of the uh, packaging coming through here. Um, the apple in the center is the same color as opposed to the box where it is a different color. Um, it is actually that darker color that's in the middle so maybe when you guys pick it up you'll notice that that uh, apple in the middle is the same color as the actual sleeve itself. Uh, of course I can't test how well it fits just yet but it looks pretty nice. Um, it's a very nice, soft, to the touch, leathery sort of deal going on here. Um, set that up here, and then we'll check and see if there's anything else left, which I don't think there is. Uh, just a really sturdy box. So we'll put that to the side. Then we'll go for the, ouch, the power adapter extension cable. See if we can open this one. Ah, we have a pull tab here. Nice. And it's exactly as I anticipated it being. Uh, just a cord wrapped around a uh, piece of paper. Um, one year limited warranty. Um, the instruction manual, which I assume basically says, plug it into a wall after you plug it into the brick. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna put those to the side and we'll put this up here. Yeah, there we go. And the magic mouse now. Let's go ahead and open this guy. Should have gotten a knife. Truth be told, I don't like messing up my boxes, and that is exactly what would happen if I continue to do this uh, scratching deal. Uh, yeah, a little bit of abrasion on the box. Anyway, opening the magic mouse. This is not the uh, black one, unfortunately, because it costs. Uh, significantly more, I'm guessing, mostly because it is just a black one. I have not done too much research on what makes it different than the standard one. Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of unbox the normal one here. Oh my goodness. 
There we go. All right, well, yeah, just, yeah, nothing else in there, just the mouse. Oh, and instructions, of course. Very nice. The mouse itself is very shiny and standard. It's the same one that we've come to know and love. All right. Yeah, we got instructions. Then we have a charging cable, thank goodness, because I did not know I needed that. Um, yeah, the little sleeve with the interesting paperwork in it. Set that to the side as well. I will be reading through all of that later. But for now, we have the cable, the charging cable, uh, which I'm assuming is uh, the standard Mac charging, uh, well, sorry, the standard Apple charging thing. Uh, I'm not really hit to the jive on the lingo there just yet, but I will get there. Uh, go ahead and cover that up. Yeah, and we'll put that to the side. And we'll set you over here. Okay. Now, one more thing before the big cheese here. The USB-C adapter. All right. So, it's basically gonna, oh, pull the tab, because there's a tab. And we are going to pull on the top here, and it uh, comes right out of there. All right, so a USB uh, cable to US, well, sorry, USB uh, B to USB C connector. So fun times there. The cable itself is really super skinny, so I hope that doesn't uh, end up breaking later, which it very well might, because I've never had a Mac where the cable did not break. Um, let's see here. Last but not least, we're doing the big cheese. All right, so I'm gonna read the instructions here. It says pull down, so down is gonna become to the left. All right, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy there. And there she blows the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip inside of it. Okay, the box is super thick. Look at that thing. That thing is hefty, protecting that laptop. All right, we'll pull this out like so. Uh, it's a very nice compact size. Um, so the main computer is the main event. It is the first thing you pull out. Next thing you have is the uh, cable. Um, this is a USB-C to USB-C cable and it is a very long cable. Um, I can see this being useful for way more than just the Mac, um, which I very well may be taking advantage of that, uh, well, advantage. Um, designed by Apple in California. Um, not exactly sure what comes in here, but I think it's just the, uh, yeah, the instructions. Uh, it describes the thing to you here. Uh, Thunderbolt USB 4. Uh, let me see. Let's get this next piece out here. Oh, if it comes out. It does not come out, so this that's just yeah. They're really thoughtful with their uh, with their packaging. They have a, uh, a a piece of cardboard in there to support the papers that go into this particular section. Oh, whoop! I missed that. There are Apple stickers, so if I want to put Apple symbols somewhere, I can I can do that. Um, then uh, I believe the last thing in this box is the power brick. Um, as you can see, the power brick comes in uh, 
brick form. Uh, I don't really, uh, it's a square with a little bit of depth to it, so I guess you would call it a rectangular prism. Anyway, um, yeah, you take this little paper off and then you can plug in your uh, USB type C to the standard Apple power brick. Um, there does not appear to be anything else in this box. Nope, there's nothing else in there. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and open. Oh, I'm trying to keep my face out the shot, but it's not gonna work. All right, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and open the actual laptop here. Uh, yeah, you flip it over here. This little pull tab. Oh. Okay, there's a little sleeve there. Um, I can see the little cooling ducts already right here where the fan pushes out the air. Uh, if this guy has a fan, I don't remember if it does or does not. Um, I think it might. Probably does because it has big vents right there. We'll just say it has a fan. Um, if anything, I'll make an editor's note in the top corner. Um, I got the darker colored one, the uh, uh, Space Gray, I believe they called it. Um, it's a very smooth laptop, which is making me super nervous. Um, mostly because if I am not careful, I will drop this bad boy. So let's just go ahead and be careful and set it on the table. Um, opening up. Oh, it says it, it, it makes noises at you and it has this little nice film over the front of the screen. And there it is guys the MacBook Pro. Um, let's go ahead and, well, I'm gonna open this up a little bit more so you guys can. Use English as the main language. Press the return key. Wow, okay, so we're not gonna do that right now. Um, what I am going to do is go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Jeff the Christian Gamer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, please do that by clicking on the links provided. Also, if you'd like to check out other videos that I've done, you may do that by clicking on the links in this video. I have a Facebook and a Twitter. Please check those out to see when I release new content, and I will catch you guys next time.